it's your local 32 with Rebecca Cappuccini and myself. Rebecca, how are you keeping? Good. I built a desk today, so we're in a brand new location in my house, as well as traveling, what? obviously, with our 32. <laughs> that is amazing. Fair play to you. Are you, are you at it now? Yes, yeah, so this is my oh, new desk. Good. This is my new desk friend. Um, he's incredible. Lovely. Like, Little mascot. Mm. That's great. Yeah, you can see your backdrop's different. Uh, your background's different and stuff than normal. So brilliant. You must be absolutely chuffed. You can do more work now, right? You got your desk. I've got a desk. I've got a new computer coming either <laughs> Monday or Tuesday. So yay. <laughs> Amazing, Rebecca. So this week for your local 32, you looked at Cavan and I looked at Mead. How did you find that experience? Tell us quickly before we kick into both. Uh, really interesting for me anyway with Calvin because mm. I put a video up looking for people to help me with Calvin and so many people. You brave woman. <laughs> <laughs> and you got so a lot of people reaching out. Great. No, that's good. I didn't do that because I was scared I'd be inundated with people messaging me. So I was like, I won't do that. But I found it a little bit tricky because, um, you know, for me, I know one particular place in Mead and that would be Slain, you know, personally, uh, having been there many times um, in uh, Boyles. Uh, but uh, there was a, a whole other part of Mead that I didn't realize Mead was actually quite a big county. Uh, so I might have shot myself in the foot there realizing that, oh, wait a sec, Mead is bigger than, than, than Slain, of course. But however, I'm going to kick into my segment uh, about Mead. Um, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it and, and be kind, right? Be kind to both of us because uh, it's very difficult to, to <laughs> delve into all these lovely counties. So here we go, guys. Uh, we're looking at the uh, beautiful, beautiful um, heritage county of Mead. So just to open up as well uh, on our local 32, I'd like to just say a uh, little intro about Ireland as overall with music, uh, that Ireland is a country with music at its very core, the diversity of count of all the counties uh, musically is severely underestimated uh, by the world. You know, a lot of people in the world just think it's Irish music, but it's not. We cover absolutely every uh, genre under the sun. Uh, so this is why we're here doing this. Um, and we are taking two counties um, at a time. It's going to take us 16 weeks to do it. And um, really looking forward to it. This is our second episode. And uh, yeah, we're, we're looking at Mead here. So uh, known mostly for its heritage. Uh, it's the formerly uh, the seat of the High Kings of Ireland. And this is where you'll find a lot of Neolithical pa passage tombs at Nout Doubt and Newgrange. Uh, I've been there before. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, to the original Book of Kells, of course, and the home of some really, really nice whiskey. Um, so Mead's history is laced with uh, hidden surprises and a feck load of hills. Uh, some artists that you might know from Mead uh, are Ham Sandwich, which I only found out today. So uh, John Moore and Podge McNamee are uh, Mead-based uh, musicians. And um, yeah, that was that was an interesting insight. Uh, we've also got Paddy, Paddy Keenan, uh, a very famous Illin Pipes uh, performer as well, hails from Mead. Uh, some more local down to earth and independent grassroots artists, you'd find uh, Gillian uh, Tweet, uh, Electric Shore, who are now called Noah, Escoa, Black Tie and Brian McGrain. Uh, so that's only a handful of artists uh, from Mead. Um, the venues, of course, you know, we all know uh, Slain Castle, where you would have seen uh, massive artists such as U2, OREM, Bruce Springsteen, Queen, um, Guns N' Roses, Red Hot Chili Peppers. The list, it just keeps going. Um, but have you had the pleasure of witnessing a special community experience in Boyles in Slain? This fantastic um, bar venue uh, that I've had the honor and privilege to play uh, a couple of times and um, run by uh, marvellous bar owner John Archbold, who's in the chat uh, there, actually, John. So thanks for, for tuning in. Uh, it's so nice to be chatting about your wonderful bar um, while you're there. And uh, I have to say, it's just an unbelievable uh, venue. It's featured uh, countless of acts from high places uh, to the independent artist level uh, with packed out nights uh, with, with, with actual listeners. You know, people will actually listen to your music and not judge you or um or criticize you and uh, you're all ears when you go there so some notable artists that have uh, ventured into uh boils and slain will be christy dignam um the duke special uh paddy casey and before they were even famous emma langford and the stripes uh which is absolutely uh amazing and of course heroes from mars played a couple of gigs there as well just just throw that one in there 
Um, so another venue as well is uh, the Venue Theatre, which opened its doors to the public in 2016 and each year uh, entertains thousands of people uh, from County Mead, um, County Dublin and, and the rest of Ireland. Uh, then we've got the Central, Navin and Solstice Arts Centre uh, as well. Some notable events in Mead, uh, of course, you know, the Purple Sessions, uh, which are based in Boyles. And they, they used to take place every Thursday of the month. I hate having to speak about this stuff in the past tense, but however. Uh, so usually four acts would take uh, to the stage and they perform a couple of songs. And uh, as John describes them as an appreciative and intimate um, uh, venue, crowd and venue. So um, it's an absolutely uh, lovely little spot, I have to say. Um, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a soundbite of... Uh, uh, from what John, the owner of Boyles, uh, sent me earlier on today, guys. So enjoy. Hi, Kozak. Um, good to hear from you. And that's brilliant. You're doing a piece on Mead. Delighted. Uh, well, what can I say about Mead music? I, I don't know. Um, Bo Boyles itself is in a village where everybody seems to be growing up with a guitar in their hand or a harmonica in their mouth, um, where we're so, so lucky that it's such... I don't know, it's kind of a, a culture that's almost lost um, in some areas that everybody here is so happy to come to a pub with live traditional music or any form of popular music, rock music. They appreciate all styles and all skills. They're a supportive group. Um, from the Biles point of view, I'd like to mention that when we do get back open, that we will definitely be holding live music trad nights midweek and whatever we can do at the weekends. Um, so we're looking forward to getting back to it. So that was John uh, Archbold from uh, Boyles and Slane. John, thanks so much for taking the time to to send me in a bit of a soundbite about Boyles. And nothing cheers me up any more than hearing that you're looking forward to doing uh, more events uh, in the future in there. So really uh, looking forward to that. And uh, thanks again for, for tuning in uh, in the chat there. So uh, to pick an artist is always difficult, especially to represent the county. Rebecca will know. Um, so, you know, I'm searching high and low, searching high and low to find uh, an artist that could represent um, me. Then, and, and, you know, people might disagree. So I'm, I'm all up for that. That's OK. Uh, but a band that I discovered on my journey, um, they, they were actually it took me a while because they've they've changed their name as of late. Uh, so, um, I don't know, John, if you might know them, uh, they were called Electric Shore, and it's funny, I actually contacted them on their old profile and then realized later that uh, they left a comment saying, uh, please go to our other page, Noah, N-O-A-H, uh, which was reformed uh, basically from Electric Shore um, just this month, coincidentally, you know, we're covering Mead and all of a sudden something's actually happening, you know, uh, music related uh, in Mead. So um, the band decided to reform um, from their pre previous musical endeavor. Um, they've taken inspiration in the name from the biblical story of Noah and the Ark, uh, which was centralized about the team of New Beginnings, which represents uh, the new band as it stands now. So, um, yeah, I don't know too much about the band, to be honest, but all I'll, I'll say is that they released a track um, just late last year called Shine, and this is their um, official music video, so enjoy.
was an incredible segment i really enjoyed seeing all that stuff and hearing about all those venues i've been to slain myself years ago and i actually got to see the red hot chili peppers queens of the stone age pj harvey it was just one of the best lineups i'd been to so that's great looking forward to going to that venue as well what a lovely thing to have that in there a little piece about a venue from a venue owner that's really exciting I, however, did not get me. I got Cavin. Now, you see, Cavin, I've never been to Cavin, okay? I don't know anyone from Cavin. Well, actually, it turns out I do. So, as it would be, the job seekers, like Tom is in there. The second you say you're going to be doing something about a county and it just so happens to be Cavan, Tom's messaging you going, will you feature the job seekers? And I was like, actually, I love you guys, but can you help me know about the place? So, I have a little piece that a few different people helped me write. So I reached out to Zen Arcade as well, who used to be the Stripes, and they gave me a few bits about that. And an incredible promoter in the region uh, from Impact Promotions gave me a rundown on her situation as well. So that was great. So when you're talking about Cavan, you have to talk about Ra Moore in Virginia. Blessings Bar in Cavan Town, where the Job Seekers and Zen Arcade play regularly. There is a cafe set session every second thursday of the month hosted by blue valentine it's small but you can fit about 50 people in there and it's super powerful and mighty so that's really exciting i'd love to go to a little cafe session like that the christmas show in the town hall is something that everyone talks about rua media even talked taught me about that uh, that's another promoter that really works hard for everyone to be seen um she was saying that uh you go in there and there's a christmas show in the town hall and it's really really quirky and interesting um there was also a playwright called philip doherty um who's local to cavan who erected a stage and an incredible performance that's available online then you have trans art festival that's for artists poets uh writers it's basically impromptu parades and performances that bring the town back to life and finally, the Cavan Arts Festival, which is a big deal in those parts as well. Uh, Impact Promotions run a session of original music the first Friday of every month. They have three acts on in around 45 minutes each, and that's in Kilchandra in County Cavan. Um, artists to mention, obviously, we're going to be playing the job seekers because anyone who is just so helpful and they're just so funny and energetic. And I really like this music video that we're going to put on. But we're also, and, and I'm wearing their merch, do you know, uh, Zen Arcade, Josh Mulroy, uh, Paul McDonald, uh, Dara Slack, Josh Mallory, Shane Codd. Uh, the spiritual leaders, Anya Cahill and Apes Rising are some of the incredible acts that are found in Cavan. And that is everything I could possibly find on Cavan for this Cavan special. When the artists are telling you there's not much going on in Cavan, you get a bit fearful. But actually, the information that was sent to me seems to be very, very exciting. So I guess we will play the job seekers. 
I have the video there for ya. One second. Sorry about that. That's my bad. <laughs> okay. Fucking ready for this next bit? Yeah! <laughs> 